All right, hello and welcome folks. Welcome back to another quick UE5 short tutorial. And in this tutorial today, we are going to be going over one simple thing that I've seen many people not find an answer to, usually due to a lack of uh, responses to the comments from like video authors and stuff like that. How unfortunate, which is why I do try to respond to every video, I mean, every uh, comment on my videos as I can. Um, I don't think I've missed a single one yet, um, but yeah. So I don't even think I said what this video is about. <laughs> so this video, uh, so yeah, the issue that I see a lot of people run into is they have assets and they're ready to use them, but it's for an unsupported version, or at least the version that they're in of Unreal Engine is not designed for that asset. So if we're in Unreal Engine 5 now, because you know this is the exact same uh, UE5 project as we've been doing these tutorials in for a while now. So if we were to open 2D Graveyard Pack Handcrafted Art, you go to supported engine versions, it stops at 4.26. So it's 4.12 to 4.26. Now, obviously, we're in UD5. You know, that's a big issue. And so, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to import it into an unsupported Unreal Engine version, truly see what if it works. Now, if everything will work perfectly, um, there's no guarantees, obviously, because it's for an unsupported version. But if you're dealing with assets like um, animations or trees, or buildings and stuff, and it's for like an unsupported version, nine times out of 10, it's gonna work. Um, Cause that stuff, it's, it's not, it, it's, it's, just, it's just gonna work, you know? The only time I can see something not working, um, and this is just my two cents on it, is just if it's something related into like um, underlying code of it, which is like probably pulling some default variables that end up being renamed or downright like changed. You know, but that's more like the back end code of things, uh, if that makes sense. Um, but generally, most things are going to still be compatible. Um, maybe not every aspect of it, but you can at least import it and test and see if what you're looking for is compatible. So that's what we're going to. That's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So as you see here, we have 4.26, even though we're in Unreal Engine 5. So if I was to go to add to project, obviously it's not even showing by default because we're in UE5. So if I was to go to my tutorial, which is, um, where is my, I don't even, I don't even, uh, I, yeah, don't be like me, folks. <laughs> don't be like me. I have too many projects, uh, completely not named correctly at all. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, so if we were to click, so this is where we are now. Okay. But it says asset not compatible with version 5.0. Please choose, please select closest alternative version. Now, most people, will they see red? They're like red error code. It doesn't work. Can't add to project. But all you really have to do is just select the nearest version. So if I was to know that this is obviously compatible with 4.12 to 4.26, well, 4.12 to 4.26, they're the ones that's showing. So I'm just going to select the more closest one to 5.0, which is 4.26. Now, if you do that, the error code goes away and it adds to project. It's a lot of people, they see that, you know, they see that error code. Yeah. So this is actually, this would work. The only issue is I've already actually done this. <laughs> so it looks like it doesn't even let me do it twice. So here, what we're going to do is to show you this works. I'm actually just going to open up a new Unreal Engine 5, start a new um, uh, world, and then we'll just go from there. Because this, I just did this. And, you know, I'm not going to be that kind of guy who shows a tutorial and says, oh, you know, it works, but, you know, it's not working now. And, you know, you're sort of on your own. You know, I just I hate when people do that. So I'm actually going to show you it works. <laughs> because this is this is what I did for, um, I mean, I've done this for many assets um, since, like, even before 4. Point, I mean, even before I was using uh, Unreal Engine 5, this is just the way to do it. Um, yeah, I just, I really hate watching tutorials and something doesn't work. If someone's like, oh, well, you know, it, it usually works. Um, if it doesn't work, leave a comment down below and I'll do what I can. And then they do nothing. Um, you know the types. <laughs> and so I'm basically going to go ahead and close this project here. So as you can see that we're in uh, something called My Project 11. <laughs> so many, so unnecessary. Uh, but if I was to go to show our project, look for My Project 11, My Project, My Project 11 right here. Now we do the same thing, select 4.26, click add to project. It says the grave, the 2D graveyard hand exists in a project. Do you want to replace them? Yes. Now I don't know why it's saying it already exists in a project, but we just added it to the project. So now as you can see, it was, that was a pretty small thing. I think it was on like 60 megabytes or something, so it was pretty fast. Um, but as you can see here, now we have it completely imported. We're opening, we have these things, demo world, sprites, whatever is actually in this um 
It's actually in this um, asset. And so that's how you go ahead and import a, a, a quote unquote incompatible asset into a different or engine version. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know. Um, if you want to see more of this sort of thing, let me know in the comments. You know, I'll respond as soon as I can, either with a, a, a written response or make a new video uh, for that. I've actually done that in the past with people who had questions and they want to help with certain uh, issues. Um, with that said, I'll leave you to your UE5 endeavors because, as always, it's difficult out here when you don't know what you're doing. That's the reason I make these kinds of tutorials. Um, really want to help support your channel. Make sure to leave a like, a nice comment, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. So it can really help me out in the algorithm and we can just keep continuing to grow together.